Fellas, it's that time of year again. The Electronic Entertainment Expo. This year it's 2014, and there's a lot of kick-ass stuff they unveiled. First of all, I'm going to talk about the first press conference that really, really pissed me off. Because Microsoft, they're just fucking cowards, and they're shitting themselves. They keep getting exclusive DLC first for all their games, like Evolve... Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, and they keep getting third party games that they're exclusive to Microsoft, and that, that's bullshit. And, and the more, biggest offense of all, they keep getting DLC first for all the Call of Duty games. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think DLC, especially time DLC, is poison to the industry. Cut it out! Nobody wants that shit! Especially $15 map packs? That shit's overpriced! Fuck you, Microsoft! Anyway, he does my little rant, but... The game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, looked cool. I'm, I'm, I'm still bitter about that... Oh, God. That just pissed me off. The best thing they announced for Xbox fans, even though I'm not one myself, is that... Master Chief Collection, the, the first four Halo games. They're not counting over the Trot Trot Shoot ODST or Reach because those are shitty spin offs and nobody gives a fuck about those. And they announced the new Crackdown, which I'm pretty sure Morgan Webb's going to ape shit out. Even though it's just a pre rendered trailer. Oh, that's right. Some of the trailers they show, they were all pre rendered. Like, including, uh, Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, the, the, Phantom Dust, which some cult Xbox fans might like. It was a cult hit on the original Xbox. That's the only thing I have to say. No connect, surprisingly. Next up is Sony, and they, it wasn't as awesome as last year's, but they did some pretty cool stuff. Like, they announced this new device called a PlayStation TV, which plays most of Vita games, except for games that use the back touch or the front touch. I mean, it looks cool. And some of the games, exclusive games they've shown, like... Like, that new Metal Gear Solid 5 demo the trailer was amazing. Good God, that song was awesome. Ugh. They also showed this new game from the creators of Dark Souls and Demon Souls called Bloodborne. And it looked crazy. It uh, also had some bunch of independent games everybody flipped out over, including the remastering of Grim Fandango, which some people are really excited about because it's from Tim Schafer. And I can't believe Disney's letting. Double Fine do that, which I think is awesome. And it's exclusive to PlayStation 4 and Vita. Okay, what else? They also showed Uncharted 4 and the remastering version of The Last of Us. And the biggest drawback about the Sony press conference, still no fucking Last Guardian. Either show the fucking game or cancel it. God damn it, Sony. And they had a pretty good event, but... Nintendo's digital event and all the stuff I've seen from Nintendo this year so far were pretty bad ass. First of all, they showed the new Smash Brothers, and... They got this thing we play as a meme now in three different forms. Like a brawler, the sword fighter, and a blaster. Or the gunner, as they called it. It looked cool. The robot chicken sketch they showed during it was pretty funny. And, uh... Bayonetta is gonna Bayonetta 2 is gonna come with the first Bayonetta game, which got me sold on it. I'm gonna get day one. That, that's a guarantee for sure. And uh, and uh, they also announced a new the uh, Mario game called Mario Maker, which you can create your own Mario levels, and that looks trippy as shit. And this, then they announced this new third-person multiplayer game called Splatoon, where you play as squid girls and just spraying everywhere. It looked a lot... It reminded me a lot of um, Super Mario Sunshine, in a way. 
And, uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, the new Yoshi game, Yo Yo Yoshi's Yo Woolly World, looks awesome. The new Kirby game, the new Canvas Curse game, looks cool. On the Wii U, and, uh, Toad, Captain Toad, the mini game from the Mario, Super Mario 3D World. They're doing a full game of that. Which, I don't see how much that's gonna cost. And the new Smash Brothers characters they showed off was... They even hinted at Captain Mr. Game and Watch. The new characters that they announced is Pac-Man and Palatina from Kid Icarus. And, uh, last but not least, the biggest holy shit moment... And I got the exclusive rights to is that game Devil's Third, which was supposed to be an Xbox 360 and PS3 game until THQ went out there and died, along with the rights to the game. And Nintendo saved it and make it start and make it exclusive to the Wii U. That was the big holy shit moment of the year for me for E3. I thought that was awesome. Overall, I think the winner of the show is a tie between Nintendo and Sony because they kicked some serious ass. And Microsoft, that time DLC bullshit, stop it! All the fucking developers, stop this DLC bullshit! I mean, it, DLC's become cancer to gaming. It really has. Especially if it's disc locked. Capcom! Uh, sorry, I just coughed. And DLC is just poison in the industry. I hate DLC. It, it, it's bullshit. That's how I feel about the E3 this year. It, it was great. Till next time, bitches. DLC is cancer to the industry. What are you doing?